Let my prayer rise before thee as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Good evening, this is Pastor Spencer, pastor of Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon. Tonight is a Monday evening. It is the 31st of January, the year of our Lord, 2022. And tonight, our psalm is the 22nd psalm. If you were at church yesterday, I hope you picked up a bulletin. On the back of that bulletin, there is the psalmody prayer that we will pray together. And if you don't have it, you can simply add your amen to ours tonight as we lift our voices up together as a sacrifice to the Lord. Tonight I will be using the Psalter uh, to do the, the psalm, or other words I would have used the King James Bible. I want to thank one of our members for the coffee cup. I love coffee and I enjoy getting new cups. This particular one is interesting. It says, Pastor, warning, anything you say or do may be used in a sermon. So grab a beverage of your choice, mine is coffee, Sit down and join us as we come into the presence of the Lord together. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The 21st Psalm O Lord, in your strength the King rejoices, and in your salvation how greatly he exalts. You have given him his heart's desire, and have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with rich blessings. You set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked life of you, you gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. His glory is great through your salvation. Splendor and majesty you bestow on him. You make him most blessed forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. And through the steadfast love of the Most High he shall not be moved. Your hand will find out all your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them as a blazing oven when you appear. The Lord will swallow them up with his wrath, and fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth and their offspring from among the, the children of man. Though they plan evil against you, though they devise mischief, they will not succeed. For you will put them to flight, and you will aim their faces, you will aim their faces with your bows. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And our prayer this evening, if you have it with you, please join in. O oh Lord, with the blessings of goodness and O oh Lord, with the blessings of goodness, and fulfill our request according to thy will, while that while we sing and praise thy power, we may obtain a long life, even forever and ever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Ghost, one God world without end. Amen. Now I want to remind you that there are some things going on out there. Of course, we've had some uh, resurgence of the COVID and several people even in our own congregation have uh, ended up with it. But we are going to be having Bible class this Sunday. Once again, we were on hiatus for a couple weeks 
but we are studying Ephesians and especially how God speaks through the Apostle Paul. And Paul reminds us to look at Ephesians and really note those things like in and with and by and through. Through Christ, in Christ, by Christ. And so with Christ, how so many blessings are given to us because of what Christ does. All of our blessings really come through Him. And so we learn in the the letter to the Ephesians, how God works through Christ for our benefit. And this Sunday, the sermon also will be talking about our blessedness by being in Christ, with Christ, through Christ, and by Christ. So join us this Sunday at Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon, where God's Word is the standard norm of all doctrine. It is the center of our faith. And Christ, of course, is the center of our faith. For by Him alone are we saved. And faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of Christ. Come and join us. That's all I have for you tonight. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you His peace. God's blessings. Have a great night in the Lord.